Yeah, it's a tiny altar. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Prince of Peace Parish live stream mass. Uh, my name is Father Paul Colling. I'm assisted by Deacon Thomas Martin. Our lector today will be Stephen Frizzell. Our opening hymn is Whatsoever You Do. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was hungry, you gave me to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we begin this Eucharistic celebration, let us call to mind God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, word of God, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, Messiah and King, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, let us fill your compassion more readily during these days when, by your gift, we have known it more fully, so that those you have freed from the darkness of error may cling more firmly to the teachings of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And now let us listen to God's word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Get up and head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian, Ethiopian eunuch, a court official of the Candence, that is, the queen of the Ethiopians, in charge of her entire treasury, who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home. Seated in his chariot, he was reading the prophet Isaiah. The spirit said to Philip, go and join up with the chariot. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Like a sheep, he was led to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he opened not his mouth. In his humiliation, justice was denied him. Who will tell of his posterity? For his life is taken from the earth. And then the eunuch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? about himself or about someone else. Then Philip opened his mouth, and beginning with this scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. As they traveled along the road, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there is water. What is to prevent me being baptized? Then he ordered the chariot to stop, and Philip and the eunuch both went down into the water, and he baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord snatched. Philip came to Azostus and went about proclaiming the good news to all the towns until he reached Caesarea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Our response is Alleluia. 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 Bless our God, you peoples. Loudly sound his praise. He has given life to our souls and has not let our feet slip. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. When I appealed to him in words, praise was on the tip of my tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessing, Father. May the will of the Lord be on your mind and on your lips me, worthy and nobly proclaim the gospel. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, They shall all be taught by God. Everyone who listens to my Father and learns from him comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the desert, but they died. This is the bread that came down from heaven, so that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Morning, my uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's reading, one of the first things one has to learn in, in reading the Word is to understand metaphor and analogy and to be able to go beyond the literal and see things in the written word which God reveals to us. So in the very first thing that Christ says, he says, uh, no one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draw him. I just stop right there. And I just play on the imagery of the world draw, and the sense that in this sense of the word draw, it is draw him to the Father. But also we've all been drawn by the Father in the sense that we've all been the result of his artistry. I knew you before you were in your womb. God is our author in this story. He's the one who drew us. He's the one who made us in his image, all unique and all very different in our needs and what we seek. I will draw you. He has drawn us. And now the thing is for us to fill in the form that he has drawn with the living bread of Christ. And that's what we're called to do, not the bread of the world. I work with young people, I've worked with young people well over half my life, two-thirds of my life probably. An interesting question I always ask them, a good thing to ask young people, are there any uh, maps for life? And uh, when you've done it long enough, you, it's almost like pulling the string on a doll because you know they're young and inexperienced, and they'll say, well, there's no maps for life. So, they, so they've just, life is a road then, isn't it? Well, they can see it's a road that you're on, and there's no map, so they've just left you off alongside the road without anything to read or any directions, and pretty much they'll say, yes, that seems the thing to do. Well, right tying into the first reading today, you see the eunuch sitting there reading Isaiah. And here comes Philip along the road, and he's been sent on the road. He's been sent to go south the desert way. He has no reason why he's going probably. He runs into this eunuch out of the blue, and lo and behold, he's reading the word but he can't understand the word he's reading. And then Philip says, you can understand this. And he reads them the part from the prophet. And then he pulls off by the water and baptizes them. And then Philip disappears. And the eunuch, lo and behold, this is what happens. The drawing of that eunuch towards God came through the word there of Isaiah. Because the priest, the minister, one of us, my brothers and sisters in Christ, who are called to be the light of the gospel in the world, has explained to this eunuch, this one who does not understand, 
what the words mean. We're drawn much like the lady at the well of Bethesda when she, uh, Christ looks at her and Jesus says, would you draw me some water? And he draws her some water and he says, now, if, if you drink of the water that I draw, you will never thirst. And that is the bread of the Eucharist, my brothers and sisters. The road of life are the sacraments that take us on the way from our baptism like the eunuch that set us on this path back to God. And he is the living bread that we hunger for now more than ever as we are in lockdown, as it were, away from the church. So many of us haven't received the Eucharist in 50 days. Uh, we hunger for this bread of life and the fulfillment that we can only anticipate to come. And remember that God drew us and he draws us back to him through our church, the sacraments, and the Eucharist. Let us now turn to God with our prayers of intercession, trusting to present our concerns with confidence. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole church, especially where she is harassed and persecuted, that her suffering may be the seed of healing and rejoicing in the souls to those to whom her ministers are scattered proclaiming the word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the initiatives to bring about peace and respect for all human life may be blessed, giving us a new reason to sing praise for the tremendous deeds of God among his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have wandered far from Jesus, the bread of life, and have become famished and vulnerable to the poisonous nourishments of sin, that they may return to their Savior. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, the addicted, and oppressed, the imprisoned, and those who grieve, that Jesus, who never rejects anyone who comes to him, may grant them mercy, healing, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faithfully departed, who believed in Jesus during this mortal life, may now be raised up to heaven to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters around the world who are suffering from the coronavirus pandemic, may they find healing and comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are alone and depressed because of the isolation at this time, that their brothers and sisters may be moved to help them relieve their sadness and reaching out to them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died as a result of this pandemic, that faith in Jesus Christ is the resurrection and life, may lead them into eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have asked for our prayers, especially those names listed in the bulletin and also listed in the papers and book on the altar, that their needs may be met. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the parishioners of Prince of Peace Parish for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you refresh us with the food we need Hear our prayer and lead us to your holy mountain. We ask this to Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his people now and forever. Amen. Amen. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, in accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exults in your praise, and every even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and in unwilling to his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the, the world, world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to inherit, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom the and the power and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We thank all who have made generous gifts to our parish. Uh, graciously continue to do so. If you'd like to make an offering, you may do so at our website. You may come to the church and drop it off at the drop-off box right beside the confessional, or you may mail it to the parish. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have immune with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ, O Lord, amen. amen. So I'm sure many of you have heard that Governor Ricketts has opened up uh, the guidelines for different uh, areas of our state, and I think that's wise to let it determine on the local level. Um, Prince of Peace and... Uh, uh, the Kearney Catholic and St. James. Uh, we'll see if we can hopefully have Mass for the ch ch parish May 30th and 31st, but we'll have to wait and see. So stay tuned and watch um, your website, our website, and it'll be up to date. Um, if you're watching from other areas, you just need to uh, see what your uh, pastor informs you. Um, there will be some places, because there's no cases of the coronavirus, where they'll have some uh, liturgies or services, but they'll practice the social distancing and everything like that. Our main concern is that you keep safe, that uh, we're all safe, and that uh, we are able to worship. Until then, we'll be continuing to live stream our masses. We'll have them recorded for the weekend. I uh, really appreciate all those who have been engaging in this uh, virtual liturgies, but as Deacon Thomas said a few weeks, a few days ago, it's it's a two-dimensional service and it's okay. It doesn't feed us as well as being face to face. We're a three-dimensional. We're meant to be together. We're meant to be in place together in the church uh, body, but that'll happen in its own time. You may come to the church and uh, pray. The church is open from eight to nine every day of the week, unless the wind's too strong. And then we close it at night, um, at 5 o'clock. We have the bulletins available in the church. You can see it online. We have the Living Faith booklets in the church. We have the little white books. There's plenty of them. If you'd like to get one of those, there are reflections on every day for Easter and common sense uh, pamphlets, a Catholic response to an epidemic. If you would like to go to reconciliation, you may call the office and make an appointment for, with me. Weather permitting, we may offer the Sacrament of Reconciliation this Saturday, but we'll see what the weather is like. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Now we'll pray the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and every other evil spirit who prowl about the world for the ruin of our souls. Amen. And now we'll sing another verse of whatsoever you do, if I can find it. There. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people that you do unto me. When I was weary, you helped me find rest. When I was anxious, you calmed all my fears. Now enter into the home of my Father. Whatsoever you do to the least of my people, that you do unto me. May you have a blessed day.